Okay, hi there. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a demo here on how to use the Accessit Library Catalog. So if you look at the Cabra Intranet, if you're coming from school or home, you click on Cabra Library from school in this case, and it takes us to our home page here. So uh, obviously you've got your search tools down the side here. Fast Find is a quick go-to search. Advanced search if you've got more detailed ways you want to do it. You can view our new items, search other libraries, there are reading lists, etc. Over here is our link favorites, and we have uh, all sorts of things here, including the library blog, senior library and middle school library, EBSCO, ebooks, points of view, and all the other ones that are here. The online reference generator is here as well. If you click on that, you'll see that it prompts you for username and password. You do not need a username. The password is index. Okay, so if we want to use the library catalog, we're going to go back here, do ourselves a little search, fast find here. So say we put in a search term like global warming, for example. If we search here, we are going to find everything in the library catalog, global warming. Now it will produce the results, shows me how many there are, and we can click on a link and it will give us more information. So if you see that a lot of the information that you need is on this front screen anyway, the author, what type of thing it is, uh, where it is, how many copies we have, how many are available, what call number, where it is on the shelf. Handy little picture of the cover so you can find it. And then over here you'll see there are checkboxes. So if you want to uh, use that for your bibliography, you can click on these links here and just like online shopping, come over here to your list, you can print the list or you can view the list or you can view citation and Harvard is what we recommend. And there we have the three references that I ticked in Harvard style arranged by author's last name. Okay, so we can copy and paste that into a bibliography if we want to. So that's a really handy thing you can do. Um, and if you want to search the catalogue, you can find stuff that way, obviously. Um, we have books, we have uh, DVDs, we have all sorts of things. It will tell you here what we're looking at. That's a website, for example. And these are books, and there are ebooks and various other things. So to do a little bit more of a search, you can do the same search we did before, and you don't even need to put in the whole word because the system will work it out pretty much. If we tick these other boxes, we can look at searching using this same search term through these other databases at the same time without having to do separate searches. So EBSCO, Web Links, Internet Public Library, A to Z World Culture. For example, we could do ABC Splash, Fuse, which is a Department of Education Victoria site. State Library of South Australia could be useful. We'll go down and see what else we can tick. Google Scholar, Trove, which is the National Library of Australia, and Scoodle. When we select those, we do the same search, but this time you will search return what's in the Cabra library here, and then it should also, if you've got your pop-up blocker unblocked, do those other ones as well. So. Let's just quickly do that again. And it will give you a set of results like we did for global warming, but then it will pop up when you haven't got your pop-up blocker on. These other return results with the same search term without having to do a separate search. Okay, so that's fantastic, and you can use that in a lot of different um, ways with your students as well. So if you uh, want to remember that that's fast find and search term, tick the boxes you want and then let's go there. If you know that it's just a title you want, click on that, or it's a particular author you want, you can click on there as well. So this is a really useful thing which you can use and if you don't need to uh, search in multiple databases to get multiple results by doing it that way. I hope this has been helpful and we'll do some more different search demos in a bit. Thanks for watching.